light enables us to see things around us. As light interacts with matter, it reflects, it refracts and disperses and results into interesting phenomena like a rainbow. Interaction of light and matter at microscopic levels are even more fascinating. In my lab at IIT Kanpur, we are working on understanding how light and matter interact at microscopic levels. We try to understand how can we control these interactions and how can we use these controls to make efficient photonic devices on a semiconductor chip. We use both experiments and theoretical modeling to understand these, um, uh, these phenomena. In my lab, we use very small crystals of semiconductor called as quantum dots. Quantum dots are typically less than 10 nanometer in diameter. This size confinement allows electrons to only occupy certain energy levels, much like in an atom. And therefore, these are also called as artificial atoms. These are promising material systems for developing devices operating at very few photon levels and these devices can be integrated on a semiconductor chip. In our lab, we typically excite these quantum dots with a laser which creates an electron hole pair and this electron hole pair then recombines to emit a photon. To increase the interaction of these quantum dots with light, we use structures called as optical cavities that trap light near these quantum dots. The cavities help in two ways. First, they confine light in very small volumes, uh, typically on the length scale of a wavelength and therefore, uh, they increase the field intensity significantly near the quantum dot. Secondly, these cavities trap light for longer duration. Both these effects result in dramatically increased light matter interaction. When we study these quantum dots in such cavity systems, we can understand the whole system by three mechanisms. One, how well do these quantum dot and cavity field interact and exchange energy. Secondly, how the cavity field decays out of the cavity. And thirdly, how does the quantum dot decay? And we design these cavities in our lab and the design gives us control over two out of the three parameters which is the cavity quantum dot coupling strength and the cavity field decay. And this is how we have control over the light matter interaction at this level. These are, this is an example of one such cavity that we have designed and fabricated. We can see that the light is confined within less than a micron. Um, in one of the dimensions. We study these structures combined with quantum dots both theoretically and experimentally. We develop theoretical models to understand how these quantum dots interact with their surroundings. Recently, we developed a model which takes into account the interaction of this quantum dot with its solid state environment. And the model uh, is based on the fundamentals of quantum mechanics. Our model very well predicts the, uh, the experimentally observed features in the luminescence behavior of these quantum dots. Finally, on the experimental side, we probe the interaction of these quantum dots with light using our home built optical setup. We characterize these devices both in time and uh, wavelength domain and one characteristic feature of enhanced interaction in our cavity quantum dot system is that the cavity field, the, the light field that is trapped within the cavity makes the quantum dot emit photons faster. What that results in is that there is enhanced emission from quantum dots and which has huge applications in developing on chip devices like LEDs, low threshold nano lasers, single photon sources and um, and optical switches. So, these are some of the activities that are going on in my lab. With that, I thank my team, my collaborators and my funding agencies. Thank you.